One big one is coming up uh, in the next three months, and that's Yuri Prohaska versus Alexander Rakic. Number two versus number five, light heavyweight. These two guys were the best in the division uh, at this time last year. No, go back maybe two months. So about 14 months ago, these two guys were on a path to fight for the title. And uh, due to injury, it never happened. But we're getting it now. It's not for the title, but it's certainly uh, an important fight. Here's the breakdown. In the light heavyweight division at UFC at 300, you got Yuri Prohaska coming in at 29-4, and four, taking on Alexander Rakic, who comes in at 14-3. and three. This was a fight that we expected to see like two years ago. It never happened. Both guys are back. It's a shame it's not for a title. But Rakic, one inch taller at 6'4", both guys 31. Yuri, two inch reach advantage, 80 to 78, both guys stand right-handed. Now the difference is, Yuri has an advantage in activity, in significant strikes, 5.3 per minute, just four for Rakic. But both guys a little bit above average. In terms of the takedown game, both guys are going to land less uh, than one takedown over the course of three rounds. So don't expect a lot of that in this fight. It's going to be a stand-up strike and a fair. Now, Yuri, 68% takedown defense, right there about average. He lost to Pereira for the title by KO. Now, he did beat before that a lot of guys, right? Glover Teixeira, Dominic Reyes, Vulcan Oezdemir, uh, to name a few. Right now, he's 3-1 and one in the UFC. On the other hand, Rakic, again, making the return, 90% takedown defense. Even more of a reason to keep this fight standing. Now, he did get beat in his last fight by uh, Jan Blahovic third round KO. Prior to that, he beat Diago Santos by decision and Anthony Smith by decision. So this fight is pretty simple to me. You know, if it would happen a few years ago, I would have took Yuri Prohaska after the loss to Pereira. I'm definitely taking Yuri Prohaska. This guy is going to bounce back. He needs a win. I don't think he starts sliding yet. This guy's got another three, four, five years. Uh, Rakic will come in a little shaky because he's coming in off the injury. Yuri's already had a fight since his injury, so he's got a big advantage here. And I think he takes care of business and gets to KO sometime in the third round to move to 30 and 4. And it puts him back in championship contention here with the win, in my opinion, light heavyweight division, UFC 300. Yeah, I would have picked Yuri back in the day, and I'll pick him now. Uh, Yuri at least has had one fight. Uh, since his injury, you know, Rakic hasn't. So Yuri's going to be a little bit faster than him. Rakic is going to be tentative. It doesn't mean Rakic can't come back in this fight. But I think Yuri's going to come in and try to put on a show and, and get a quick stoppage. And that could be a, a real possibility uh, for him in this fight. Because, again, Rakic will be tentative, much like Yuri was. And that's a tough fight for Yuri uh, to come back and face Alex Pereira. It's going to be the same situation uh, for Rakic in this fight. So I'll take year in that one uh, because of that. He's going to fight. Wait. He's going to fight. Wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call. UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Saying step up. Step up, step up. Want to fight? Huh? Hold, up. Hold, up, hold up. Think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin. Reckless no abandoned. Walk through that cage. He'll leave your ass stranded. Wake up. Hey. Where you at? Hey. Got hit in the head with a baseball bat.